so that we can see our logo on the home page, let's insert a background image right where it says front page. And this will actually be the start of designing our home page, also known as our front page. So for now, we can leave the header section and X out. And now let's click Edit Page, which will edit our home page. By the way, I'll use the term home page and front page interchangeably because they mean the same thing. All right, so for starters, let's just come down to Template and choose Full Width Page because this is a huge full width page and click Update. All right, now let's go to the front end editor, click that button, which will open up Visual Composer. And what we have here is an editable version of our site with as many of the features shown as it can show us. We can navigate this blank page by clicking the buttons and then they'll show up for us to move around. And once we're ready to make something live, we can click update and that'll go live to the internet. So to start we can just click add element and now click row which is the foundation of all of our content, a row. What we'll be making are several rows on each page and then within rows we're going to click the plus and we're going to add things like text block, title, products by category, and stuff like that. And then we'll just drag and drop things to our heart's content so that everything looks good. For now, I just want to enter a title. And writing over title, I'm going to write comfort gear for man and beast. All right, and this will be whatever title or text you want people to see right away when they land on your website. Let's keep this tag an H1, which is the largest tag. Keep the font family the same for now. Let's make the color white because remember we're going to put an image behind this title so white will look good as the text color. And then let's text align center and save. And in extra class name, I want you to also write in period hide dash mobile because we're going to hide this text on a mobile layout. So just write that in to save us some time and I'll explain it in full later on in the video. And save changes. Great job. Now we really need our image background because it doesn't make sense to have content in white on white. We can click it, but we just can't see it. So in the arrow for row, just open that up and click the pencil icon for settings, row settings. Now click design options. I bet this all will look very new to you, but don't worry, we're going to cover every section eventually. To set up the image background, just click on this green plus right here in the empty box. Now we need to set image. Click upload. And in the video notes, I'm also going to give you some free images to play around with because a lot of the times people say that their images don't fit or don't know what size to use. So check out the video notes as well. Just click show more and open up that blog post link. What I can tell you is the image we're going to use now is 1280 pixels wide by 800 pixels in height. It's a big image and anything over about 1000 by 500 in pixels should work well for this hero image. Let's select it. find it on my desktop, double click. Once WordPress does its thing, it'll be available. There it is, and we can set image. That will come in, so let's just click save and see how it looks. All right, not very good. We want this hero image to be the full screen and it's pretty clear that we have too much white space above the image and on the sides and not enough space within this hero image to write things. That would usually mean we have to edit the margin and the padding around this hero image section. But because our theme and our plugins have a lot of options to make these sort of changes for us, 
we can just go back to edit page open up your row with this pencil icon on the right and then in design options under the image section let's just check cover cover which is going to dictate how the image appears these are different ways of showing this image and click save and update now when we refresh we're going to get the full screen image looking a little bit better next I want to put some space above this title and below the title so that we can see more of the cat and the dog in the background to do that back to our editor and this time I want to click the pencil icon on the inner portion which is called a column we have an outer row and an inner column click that pencil icon and then click design options and I'll explain briefly something called the CSS box which applies in some way to almost every single piece of content you see on the internet it's that important what the CSS box technique does is explains how much space is around an element and in this case our element is this three block image right here this is our picture or our icon or our image from Facebook around an element like this there's padding which is just space usually white space and we can increase that by writing in numbers like 25 which usually defaults to pixels, the uh, common measurement of web design. Outside of the padding, there's going to be a border. And the border is another piece of space, which is usually very thin and sometimes doesn't exist. You don't have to have a border around an element. Yet, you can decide how big the border is right here. Or maybe you just want a border of two pixels on the upper part and on the right part of the image. The distance between the element itself and the border is determined by padding because padding is in between those two things. And then if we go outside the border, we have margin, which is the space between the border and the rest of the elements on the website. Things that might be next to this element, below it, etc. So what we have are three different areas where we can enter values and determine how much space an element gets on the web. In our case, I'm going to show you an example of padding using percentages. And we're using percentages just because that'll make the site look good on mobile. It will understand that it's 20% of the browser screen. So if the browser is bigger, 20% will factor in. If the browser is smaller, 20% will also factor in and be a smaller number. And then just click Save and Update. When we refresh, we'll see that that padding, 20% between the element, which is just the text title, and the border, which is up here, and the same thing below, that padding gave our image a lot more space. And that's how a lot of the web actually works. Instead of just assigning a value to the image, like this image is 10,000 pixels wide and 5,000 pixels tall, people have decided to set padding, margin, and borders because those three criteria are better at responding to different devices and different screen sizes. Of course, these are also criteria I've been playing around with for five to ten years, so I understand if it's going to take some playing around. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Let's get rid of this white space above our hero image, and to do that we can click Customize, we can see a few different pieces need to come together to get our hero image looking good. And now click on header, header transparency, and just check enabled. Now check dark for default color scheme. And to get our header transparency working, we need to make a few selections below. The header, by the way, is just the section above the hero image and we're going to put that section essentially on top of the hero image because that's a look that's been uh, working really well around the web. What we need to do is select a logo for a light transparent header 
which will be our light version. Click select and choose a logo for a dark transparent header, which will be our dark version. Select and then click save. Once you save and customize, just come back to our page editor for front page and in header transparency, just change it from inherit to light which will tell the website that when the header is transparent, it should include the light content that we just uploaded, like a light logo and text with a white background, and then update. Now let's check out our changes, and we can see finally our hero image is coming together. If for some reason that didn't work, just make sure this is actually set on light because sometimes it likes jumping back to inherit and then update again.